time is around um, almost 11 p.m. It's the Midsummer Eve. It's on Friday and tomorrow is the Midsummer. Um, yeah, the main day. So it's this light. I just like Midsummer when we have way much less um, darkness. I mean, you can be awake the whole day and night. That is if you're not working or doing anything that important. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time. I think the last time we talked, um, it was sometimes last year when I was baking some stuff during Christmas and then everything just boom, ended. But um, yeah, now it's 2020, actually June. So I'm just wondering, is it too late to say Happy New Year 2020? Or should I say already Happy New Year 2021 in advance? But um, a lot has happened and um, I think, I think everything has been going well except for what has been going on worldwide now in 2020. So it's from my side, quite a lot has happened. But yeah, but first of all, um, my outfit for today, it's my husband's shirt. I actually like um, grabbed some shirt from the wardrobe and I thought, well, ta-da, it's, I know it's buggy and everything, but there's one thing that COVID-19 lockdowns, what they taught us. I mean, we've been indoors for like, what, for the longest time and dressing up wasn't really on my mind. I don't know about you, but I think I kind of like embraced um, more of this buggy stuff. So yeah, this is my outfit for today. My husband's shirt and I'm wearing it with pride. I know it's very, it's kind of like cute. I didn't iron it by the way, you can see the creases, but yeah, well, I'm indoors anyways, but yeah. And um, so what has happened? What has changed? I'm just thinking, last year when we talked, I was having some um, Finnish language course going on somewhere in some local university and I, I did them and I got the results. You know, we had talked lastly like I was waiting for the results. So I got them and I had passed quite well. So I was really happy because I was really working hard towards um, getting good results. And about that exam, it's... Well, um, if I would talk about why I kind of like whenever I have time, I have to go back to do or study more of the Finnish language. It's like I'm still not yet there in terms of the language. So and for me, who has been, I'm a nurse by profession and we use the language all the time. So it's always worth updating or learning more and making sure that you kind of like correct like every one of us knows what you can manage and what you cannot in terms of the Finnish language. So for me, I do know my weakest points. So that's why I have to go old school to go to school. I mean, to attend classes, courses, because if I have to study by myself, it's going to be very catastrophic. It's, it, it, won't work, it won't go well. I'll just be like watching movies and all that and maybe not touch anything. But when I go to class where a teacher is teaching, then I'll make time for that and I'll do my assignments. So this is me. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue. Who knows when I get time, I will still go back and do some other course, some continuing course, but um, that's the reason why I'm, I kind of like, like going back to study because Finnish language, it's not really hard like people say, but you've got to, like everything else, you've got to give it time. If you didn't give it time um, rather enough, hours per week then from the beginning from the beginning then you will have problems somewhere along the way so so yeah so and yes I have the Finnish passport but um, it's that wasn't the reason why I want to go and study I want to study for my own good for my own benefit I want to kind of like speak like I don't know or to explain what I'm talking about. But yeah, you get the point. I just want to learn the language and speak it without any problem. Sometimes when I'm not so sure about some words or something and I'm kind of like doubting in my head, I have such moments 
so i don't want to have those moments that's why i want to go and update myself and learn as much and improve my weakest places points or you know and yeah that's the reason why i have i like going to finish classes attending these courses just so i can just improve on myself it's worth it at least i've seen my hard work pay off actually also like um around that time when i was doing my finnish exam language exam so i remember i was also talking about us having some thesis going on i was studying masters and um Everything went well, although I have to say the reason, another reason why I was just, just quiet and everything. My thesis earlier this year, it was crazy. I had to just sit down and just focus on that thesis. And yeah, everything went well. I finished the thesis. I submitted it at the beginning of spring this year. And just before summer, I graduated. So I'm so happy everything went well. Just before I graduated, before I turned in my thesis, I went back to do my nursing um, job here in Helsinki, in a hospital here in Helsinki. And um, now I've graduated, so I'm here to see what next. So yeah, let's see. I'm so excited for the next chapter and what's gonna happen. So fingers crossed. And so now summer has already started. The weather is so nice. Today is Midsummer Eve and Midsummer is all about um, it's a huge celebration here, at least here in Finland, and it's it's like there's no darkness really. Well, the darkness is there, but it's really minute, very small. Like I don't even know, is it like very few hours within out of 24 hours? So, so today's the eve, and tomorrow is the main midsummer day. But today is actually people celebrate mostly today. It's crazy, and people go to cottages. They go on road trips. They go and have fun with their family members or friends, whatever you wanna do. But this year for me, I decided to just stay put. I'm just in Helsinki. I'm not going anywhere else. Um, well, I had not made any plans because of COVID nineteen. So I'm indoors. Well, not indoors, indoors, but. For example, today I went for, for a drive and um, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll meet up with some friends. So that's my plan for at least this midsummer holiday. And what I like about this holiday, the weather is really nice. People are happy. Most people are having holidays probably or then free days for those of us who have shift jobs. So... It's really, it's really nice to see everyone enjoying the whole um, atmosphere, the whole holiday. So it's always positive vibes and I like that. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, after 2020 has been this way with COVID-19 up to now. So yeah, so I'll be seeing you much more during this summer. Um, I'll try to do, I'll actually not even try, I'll be doing enough vlogs vlogging this summer quite often right now so yeah so if you have something you want me to cover something you want to know more from today's topics uh, what I've talked about or from previous topics so let me know and I will do it um, and I have some topics ready already for you um, something that we can explore more during the summer months or this coming few months so yeah so i i have time to vlog right now yeah i'm so happy i have time to vlog right now and whenever i have free times i will during the week i will definitely do some video or two and then publish it so you can get to see something so yeah um please don't forget to watch my other previous um videos Actually, I do remember last year we did a very interesting road trip with my husband and very amazing places. I tried to capture nice videos and show you a few places here and there. If you haven't watched those videos from different cities actually in Finland, please go and check them. Um, it was such an amazing um, road trip. So you can watch whatever. There's quite a lot I um, I actually vlogged last last year. I was quite active, you know, but then again, I was studying full-time So I still had time and energy for the vlogging actually those times I did so But yeah, go and check 
um, if you're interested that is um, my previous videos and, um, and of course today if anything if you want to know more about something drop your comment down below and I'll be happy to explain or touch more on that next time but until next time um, guys in Finland happy midsummer and everyone else um, stay safe and um, yeah keep smiling <laughs> bye